In this video, I will be showing you the world's tallest man recorded in the history particularly by the Guinness World Records. Let's get started. Donald A. Kohler was born on September 1, 1925. He is one of 20 known people in medical history to reach a height of 8 feet 244 centimeters or more. He was generally recognized as the tallest living man in the world from at least 1969 until his death in 1981. At one time, Kohler stood 249 centimeters 8 feet 2 inches tall, a result of the medical condition acromegalic gigantism. He was born in Denton, Montana, United States. He started an abnormal period of growth when he was 10 years old. The Guinness Book of World Records confirmed Kohler at a standing height of 249 centimeters, 8 feet 2 inches tall at his peak. As a youth, Kohler lived with his family on the north side of Chicago, attending Amundsen High School. Later in life, he suffered from the medical condition kyphosis, resulting in often severe curvature of the spine. Kohler died in February 26, 1981 at the age of 55 in Chicago from a reported heart condition. Vikas Kumar, Vicky, Uppal. Born on January 1, 1986 was a native and resident of India, said to be India's tallest man until his death on June 30, 2007 when he died during a failed brain tumor operation in Delhi, India. Vikas was from the Rodak district in the Indian state of Haryana. He was photographed for the Hindu on September 25, 2006 at a rally held by the Indian National Lok Dal. He was thought to be 8 feet 9 inches 2.67 meters tall, however, have been reported otherwise to be an unconfirmed 8 feet 1 inch 2.46 meters tall, and as was born in 1986 was most likely that he could grow no further. He could have been considered the world's tallest living man, but the Guinness Book of Records has strict verification criteria, hence, did not measure Vicky. He also had been said to have hands 13 inches 33 centimeters long and feet 19 inches 48 centimeters long, and appears in photographs to be proportionate, not obviously a pathological giant. Ali was born in 1996 in Barabili, village of Gorjania Union under Ramu Upazila of Cox's Bazar, Bangladesh. His parents are Amir Hamza and Shahampura Begum. His body continued to grow at the age of 23. Ali's height was predicted to keep increasing, and therefore he had to eat at least a kilogram of food every day to keep a sufficient muscle mass and healthy weight. According to the doctor, Jinnit suffered from acromegalic gigantism, a condition caused by a tumor on his pituitary gland which caused his body to produce too much growth hormone. Ali's height was increasing unnaturally due to a hormonal imbalance, and medical treatments were unable to solve the ongoing condition and its complications. In 2018, physicians treating Ali informed him he was suffering from a brain tumor. Subsequently, Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina gifted Ali and his family a house to make Ali's life and the life of his family more comfortable under the circumstances, after Ali met with the Prime Minister in 2018. Ali underwent treatment, however, Jinnit Ali died April 28, 2020, while on life support in the neurosurgery due to a brain tumor and other complications.
Sultan Kosin was born on December 10, 1982. He is a Turkish public figure, farmer and herder of Kurdish descent who holds the Guinness World Record for tallest living male at 251 cm 8 feet 2.82 inches. Kosin's growth resulted from the condition acromegaly, caused by a tumor affecting his pituitary gland. Because of his condition, he uses crutches to walk. Born to a Kurd family in the southeastern Turkey city Mardin, he is the seventh tallest man in history. The tallest living person since September 17, 2009, as determined by Guinness World Records. He has 36.5 centimeters long, 1 foot 2 inches feet, the second longest feet for a living person and 27.5 centimeters long, 11.2 inches hands, the longest for a living person. Kosin was unable to complete his education because of his height, he instead worked part-time as a farmer. Kosin married Syrian-born Merv Debo, who is 10 years his junior. In an interview, he said that his biggest problem with his wife is communication, as he spoke Turkish but his wife spoke only Arabic Kosin joined the Magic Circus of Samoa and participated in various shows around the world. Eduard Beaupre was born in southern Saskatchewan town of Willow Bunch on January 9, 1881. He was a Canadian circus and freak show giant, wrestler, strongman, and star of Barnum and Bailey's Circus. He was one of the tallest men in recorded history, with a reported height of 2.51 meters 8 feet 3 inches. He was the first of 20 children born to Gaspard Beaupre and Floristine Pichet, a Métis. When he started school at 7, he was of average height, but at 9 he was already 1.80 meter 5 feet 11 inches and at 12 he was over 1.85 meter 6 feet 1 inch tall. He stopped going to school at this time, but not because he was simple. He spoke French, English, Metchif, Cree and Sioux. He was an excellent horseman but by the age of 17 he had reached the height of 1.90 meter 6 feet 3 inches and he abandoned the trade. His father worked as a freighter for the trader Jean-Louis Legare, who was a cattle and horse rancher and also Edward's godfather. For several years he accompanied his father on his trips to Moose Jaw, Regina and Montana. Abandoning life on the ranch, Beaupre began touring. He displayed his strength by bending iron bars and lifting horses onto his shoulders. He toured from Winnipeg to Montreal and stayed for a time in California. One, while in Montreal, on March 25, 1901, Eduard wrestled Louis Cyr, a famous French-Canadian strongman, who is regarded as the strongest man to have ever lived. The match was very short, with Cyr winning. Beaupre signed a contract on July 1, 1904, with the Barnum & Bailey Circus to appear at the St. Louis World's Fair in St. Louis, Missouri. He died at age 23 of a pulmonary hemorrhage, a complication of tuberculosis, at the Fairground Hospital on July 3, 1904. At the time of his death, he was 2.51 meters 8 feet 3 inches tall and weighed 170 kilograms 370 pounds as indicated on his death certificate. Vaino Milliron was born on February 27, 1909. He was an acromegalic giant who was at one time the world's tallest living person, and may have become the tallest after the death of Robert Wadlow. His second phase of growth in his late 30s, attaining a height of 251.4 cm 8 feet 3.0 inches and weighing 376 pounds. Milliron was born in Helsinki, 
Grand Duchy of Finland, and is considered the tallest soldier ever, having served in the Finnish Defence Forces. He underwent his conscript training in 1929 in the Vipori Heavy Artillery Regiment, and was 220 centimeters 7 feet 3 in tall and very strong. In the 1930s he traveled around Europe as a professional wrestler and circus performer. He returned to Finland in 1939 to serve in the Finnish army during the Winter War. In 1946, he moved to Jervenpa and ran a chicken farm. He died in Helsinki in 1963 and buried at Jervenpa. Stadnik's excessive growth began after brain surgery at the age of 13, after which he developed a pituitary gland tumor that caused the gland to secrete large amounts of growth hormone. This resulted in what doctors describe as acromegalic gigantism. Although he held the title for a month, Stadnik, having no interest in being in any record book, refused to be measured, ending his GWR recognition. Stadnik had never been officially measured by Guinness World Records, only by the Ukrainian Book of Records. John F. Carroll was born in 1932. He is one of 20 known people in medical history to have reached a height of 8 feet 240 centimeters or more. He suffered from severe, two-dimensional spinal curvature, kyphoscoliosis, and acromegalic gigantism. Standing height of 8 feet 7.75 inches 264 centimeters. Carroll was born in Buffalo, New York and also known as the Buffalo Giant in medical literature. He was third in stature only to Robert Wadlow and John Rogan. His extraordinary growth started at the age of 16 and continued until his death, despite extensive treatments at Mercy Hospital. At one point he grew 8 inches in height in a year. He was buried in Holy Cross Cemetery in Lackawanna, New York. John Rogan was born in Hendersonville, Tennessee, on February 16, 1868. John began to grow very rapidly at the age of 13, due to gigantism. This led to ankylosis, abnormal rigidity of the skeletal joints. By 1882, he could not stand or walk. Although he could not perform physical labor, Rogan made a living by selling portraits and postcards at a train station. An 1897 article in the Kansas City Journal mentions that a number of his drawings were published. Despite his success in this regard, he declined all offers to join carnivals and sideshows. He was referred to as the Negro Giant. He used a cart like a wheelchair, it was pulled by goats. He was always the center of attention, often noted for his deep voice and playful attitude. Rogan died on September 12, 1905, due to complications from his ankylosis. Robert Pershing Wadlow an American man, born on February 22, 1918 also known as the Alton Giant and the Giant of Illinois. He was the tallest person in recorded history for whom there is irrefutable evidence. He was born and raised in Alton, Illinois, a small city near St. Louis, Missouri. Wadlow reached 8 feet 11.1 inches in height and weighed 439 pounds 199 kilograms at his death at age 22. His great size and his continued growth in adulthood were due to hyperplasia of his pituitary gland, which results in an abnormally high level of human growth hormone. Even by the time of his death, there was no indication that his growth had ended. His parents are Harold Franklin and Addie Mae Johnson Wadlow, and was the oldest of five children. He was taller than his father by age eight, and in elementary school a special desk was made for him. He enrolled in Shirtliff College with the intention of studying law. Wadlow required leg braces when walking and had little feeling in his legs and feet. He never used a wheelchair. In 1938, he began a promotional tour with the International Shoe Company, which provided him shoes free of charge. Wadlow's shoe, US size 37 AA, compared to a size 12. On July 4, 1940, during a professional appearance at the Manistee National Forest Festival, a faulty brace irritated his ankle, leading to infection. He was treated with a blood transfusion and surgery, but his condition worsened due to an autoimmune disorder. He died in his sleep on July 15, 1940. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.